Hey guys, Dumont here with another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. So in today's video, I have the double fan art, one on top, one on the side. So guys, thank you so much for sending your fan art into me. Greatly helps support my channel. If you have any of your own drawings to send in for a video, uh, for show in a video, emails in the description, send it on over and I'll make sure to show it for you. Uh, real quick, quick plug in. Uh, I am doing a giveaway on a special edition BB-8 figure. If you guys want to enter into that, it's in the description. Uh, I'll probably pull the winner on that in a couple weeks. BB-8 will literally follow you around the house. If you want to get it for yourself or get for a friend, feel free to do so. All right, so today's video, I've been waiting to do one of these for a while. Um, I haven't done one in probably like a good three months or so. What SRs to never sell to Baba because they have other uses? So uh, that's what we're gonna go over today, guys. And I'm gonna go grab, go grab this basically units and show you flat out never sell these guys to Baba, all right? All right, so I will be right back. Okay, so the first unit you should never ever sell to Baba. So Ultimate Gohan, the tech Ultimate Gohan. Uh, something I wanted to mention to, about this guy, there is a lot of Gohan cards in the game. He technically actually drops from the, that Tournament of Power event as a AGL SSR, so you, it's up to you what you want to do with this one. You can either take all these Tech Gohans, I waken all mine to SSR, so these are actually SRs. You can take all these Tech Gohans and uh, awaken them and feed them into the Strength, the Physical, the AGL, the, the Intelligence, um, or you can farm them from uh, the Tournament of Power events. Uh, it, it drops as like an AGL Awoken SR. Uh, so guys, real quick, uh, I, I took the liberty of, of awakening quite a few of these to show you what cards you can actually do. So I even forgot about the actual tech one. There's the AGL one right there. Wait, is that right? Super AGL, yeah, that's him. Crap, I don't recognize that art. That's him awoken. Um, there's also the World Tournament tech one that you can do. <sighs> Lagging, it's going slow. Uh, obviously there is a Super Strength Gohan. So a lot of you guys pulled him on the Tech Vegito banner. So he is available right there. And then Physical Gohan. So it, quite a few uses on this card. So. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to feed, whenever I get to this screen right here, it just slows down big time. I don't know why. Uh, so we're going to confirm that. Jeez. And 50%. Uh, yeah, so let's go. Uh, right now I'm feeding it into the Intelligence Gohan, so I just wanted to show that it can, it works. Three. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be feeding a lot of these. And guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video because it took a lot of materials and a lot of zenny in order to make this one. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys like videos like this to show SRs that you should never sell, uh, do me a solid. Smash that like button for me so I know you want to see more of these because obviously I can't cover every single unit in one video. So I can keep doing these. Alright, so uh, last try right here. We're going to hope to get SA10, SA9. You know what? We're going to feed... You know, I have a lot more of those Gohans, so that's completely fine. So we got him to SA9 with just the Tech Gohans right there. Um, this is my Intelligence one that I've been... Uh, he's probably going to get an easy A soon, so that's why I was kind of doing him really quick. All right, let me go grab the next unit, guys. I'll be right back. All right, so the next card I wanted to go over, uh, because we just got uh, LR Bojack, I know this one's kind of a long shot. Um, if you guys manage to pull LR Bojack, keep in mind that he does have a super attack that can be raised with an SR Strength Bojack. Um, this guy actually does Dokkan Awaken into another Bojack as well, so you should keep one for yourself to SA-10 and then also, you know, have this guy uh, as a training father, which I am going to do right now in this video because, uh, spoiler alert, I did manage to pull an LR uh, Bojack. Um, actually, it was in a live stream, so I haven't actually uploaded any content uh, with this guy, but I will do so shortly. So, trying to raise his super attack. Look at that! Four of them stuck. Trying to raise his super attack for free. Is actually pretty clutch because he uh, normally LRs take you know 19 Elder Kai's, so it's good that he has a somewhat farmable super attack. Well, not really farmable. You guys know what I mean. When you summon, you get these cards. Seven. Okay, so E7. I'll finish him out later. So Strength Bojack, guys, hold on to him in case you ever pull um, LR Bojack. Uh, I don't think the AGL one actually doesn't the AGL one have a different name? Let me double check that really quick. Yeah, the AGL one didn't even pop up. Full power Bojack. So one's Bojack, one is full power Bojack. So that's why uh, you can't actually use those guys on this one right here. So um, I didn't know that until just now, so I'm glad I caught that. All right, let me go grab the next unit, guys. Okay, so the next uh, SR that I wanted to cover was Tech Beerus. I've actually covered this one before, but Tech Beerus has so many uses. There's an AGL Beerus from the World Tournament. There's the Strength Beerus. There's also now a new Intelligence Beerus, and that's the one that we're going to be talking about today is the Intelligence Beerus. Uh, because Intelligent Spirits is a newer card, I haven't had a chance to raise a super attack. I don't know why it's lagging. I don't know. When, when you have a lot of Elder Kai's, it just seems to lag a little bit. 
Um, so uh, I'm gonna hope to, this is the Intelligence Spirits right here, I'm gonna hope to raise his super attack to 10. Um, he's actually a very, very good unit, but not worth Elder Kai's, unfortunately. We got it to 8. Come on, let's put in, you know what, let's throw one of these guys in it also. This is the, um, the Dokkan Fest Beerus. Uh, I probably should just put two, but it's fine. Uh, my, all my pa pass are open up, wow, only one. All my pass are opened up on the, uh, the one that I have, so this card literally has no uses except for a training filer for me. So I kind of lucked out there. I would like to get him to SA10 in this video, please, so I can reverse him back. 10, all right. So Intelligence Beerus, done, guys. So hold on to your tech Beeruses because they have a lot of use. Again, the Strength one, the AGL one, the Intelligence one. I don't think the LR one works for this one. Uh, that just came out on JP because it's Beerus and Weiss. Um, but I have to look up to see what that base card is. It may, it may. All right, let me go grab the next unit, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, so the next card that I wanted to cover is Goten. So guys, there's actually two SR Gotens. There's the AGL one and the tech one. Um, they both have quite a few uses because there's actually two, uh, there's an AGL Goten that is an SSR that awakens and there's also a Strength Goten that actually just got announced for an easy A awakening um, on JP. So you guys want to make sure to get your Strength Gotens all the way to SA10s for when that comes out. Uh, so here's the two Gotens that I'm talking about. You guys can see them right here on the screen. There was the AGL one. Here is the Tech one. Hold on to, the guy, hold on to both of these guys. They both have a, a lot of uh, use for them. So I'm actually going to put them into my strength go 10 right now um hoping actually you probably won't get sa 10 on this one immediately but hopefully uh one day Ugh, only two stuck that sucks as you guys can imagine that was actually this one right actually right here is a ssr but uh all mine mine on that one i've already done that go 10 so he is he is sa 10 so that's quite fine come on sa 7 oh no sa 8 sa 8 sa 6 I'm going to take it. That's cool. So guys, make sure to max out that Goten for when the EZA uh, does come out. Uh, all, all that whole family Kamehameha, the Goten, the Trunks, I'm sorry, not, not the Trunks, the Goten, the Gohan, and the Goku all have an EZA coming out on JP. So they are good ones to max out. All right, guys, let me go grab the next unit. Okay, so this one is actually kind of, uh, a lot of people don't know about this Gohan. So Gohan Team actually has two different cards that he can raise the super attack on. He can raise the super attack on the physical buffer, the 40% buffer for heroes. Uh, and you can also raise the super attack on Z-Sword Gohan. It's crazy, right? So uh, let me show you the two cards that I'm talking about real quick. Uh, here is the Z-Sword Gohan. You get this one for the World Tournament. And the one that we're going to be feeding him into is the one that these are all going into right now. Five. Come on, game. And that's this one right here. You'll see his art in just a second. So easy card to uh, max up to SA10 because this guy is pretty common, actually, when you summon. And great success. In that, in that moment. Okay. All right, none stuck. It's cool. No big deal. Maybe this one will. Wow, Gohan. Five out of five. That sucks. We get Okay, so anyways, uh, I guess none of them stuck. Zero out of six. That's fine. Okay, Gohan. I see you. I'll remember that. I'll remember that for next time. So guys, make sure to hold on to those Gohans. They're actually... I just got really unlucky there, but you do have a 50% chance to raise the super attack on that one. So hold on to them. I'm going to go grab the next unit. I will be right back. Okay, so the next unit you should always hold on to is Pan. So Pan GT... Um, actually raises the super attack of the physical pan. There's quite a few pans. The physical pan, uh, the UR physical pan, and then also um, the strength pan, uh, the waifu pan. And now, uh, just recently, guys, we got the AGL pan, the 40% buff pan. Uh, and that's the unit that these are going into today. So make sure to hold on to your pans. Please, give me better luck than we did in that Gohan. Why is it going so slow, game? So mine is SA2, hopefully it's going to be SA10, no, 7, it is 7. So last one, I got 0 out of 6, this one, all 5 stuck, that's just, that's just how it goes, right? So SA7, we might be able to max her out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, give me these last two. That'd be dope. Uh, pan! 0. See, when I get optimistic, that's when things come crashing down. That's always how it works. All right, guys, we're almost done. we got two more that I really wanted to cover in this video, so I'll be right back and then go, go grab these last two. All right, guys, so you guessed it, Zamasu. So this new AGL Zamasu has two different uses. Um, he raised the super attack of the brand new intelligence that's currently, uh, the intelligence Zamasu that's currently on the, the Rose banner. 
um, which I actually, um, that's what these are going to be going into. But he also raised the super attack of the Strength Zamasu. So he raised the attack of two different uh, uh, SSRs, so make sure to hold on to this man uh, until you get them both to SA-10, okay? And the one, the Strength Zamasu that I'm talking about is this one right here. Mine is already SA-10 and Awoken, so we don't need to do that. But the Intelligence one is SA-1. Come on. Really? Let's go. Uh, please, game. Give it to me. Intelligence Zamasu SA-4. Six! All five stuck! Whoo! Okay. Alright, alright. That's good. That's good. Um, let's go another five. Let's go another five. It's okay if one of them... I don't care. Like, you know, I, I raise these guys. This is the only Zamasu I can put them into. SA-8. Okay. Two more. Uh, uh, uh. Come on! Let me get lucky! This is once! Watch him leave him at SA-9. That'd be my luck. SA-8. Okay. Alright, well, Zamasu just got to SA-8 right there, guys. There is one more unit that I wanted to cover in this video, and this last one's probably one of the best ones, so I will be right back. Okay, guys, and the last unit we're going to cover in this video is the SR AGL Trunks. This one's currently on the Tech Vegito banner. Brand spanking new. Uh, this one can be fed into, I believe, two different cards that you should feed them into. Uh, one is the Intelligence Trunks, the one that uh, I'll show you. Obviously, mine is Doken Awaken, but he can go into this one right here. And then, guys, also, he can be fed into the... Actually, he can be fed into the physical trunks as well. I just forgot about that. The base form physical trunks he can be fed into. Uh, he can't be fed into... He can't be fed into that one because that one's Dokkan Awaken. You can't reverse that one. Uh, and he can't be fed into this one either. So, uh, basically, those two. And then the strength one that just came out on the Tech Vegito banner. What you're going to see... Come on, game. Go! Uh, right here. Please, please, please... This took a lot of resources. This Strength Trunks right here is actually a very, very good card. And I'm hoping he is going to be SA7, but he's SA2 right now. Ah, uh, the despair. My AGL my AGL medals freaking hate me right now. You know, we got a couple of these guys sitting around too. Mine is all pass open, so I'll throw those in as well. Come on! Do it, do it, do it! Four. Two. Okay. Well, this game hates me. Game officially hates me. I will have to awaken. I do have more guys, so I'll have to just awaken some more. Come on. Give it to me. Give me at least five. Five. All right. I'm going to take it. Okay. So, guys, uh, that was that's pretty much going to sum up today's video. Let me know what you guys think about uh, this type of series, doing things like this, showing you SRs that you should never, never sell to bother because they have so many other uses. Uh, if you guys like this one, like I said, please smash that like button for me. Enter my giveaway if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for the fan art. And I'll catch you guys later. See ya.